So I've actually been working on a number of projects off camera lately, one of them being the Ford 1700, which as you can see over my shoulder is in some pieces. So I'll share a little bit about what's going on here. As we look at the tractor, we can see here that the dash, the steering column are completely removed. I had mentioned in a prior video a while back that the steering on this tractor is not very good. There's basically a quarter turn of free play in the wheel. And so I am finally dealing with that issue and have removed the steering box. I've removed the leaking hydraulic oil line that went to the steering box. And really I was thinking I was just gonna replace that line and, and keep going with the old box. But when I realized how much work was involved in getting to actually remove that line, I was basically here in terms of the entire steering box coming out. So decided to pull the entire steering box and order a kit to convert this over to hydrostatic power steering instead of a power assisted recirculating ball gear, which was worn out. So to get to this point, what exactly came off the tractor and in what order? Well, the first thing was taking out the air intake and opening the hood. That's standard procedure. Next was removing the fuel tank, and that's a bottom support bracket for the fuel tank. Once the fuel tank was out, I went after the dash, and the dash is right here. The rubber mounts at the bottom, there's one there, there's one there. Those were broken. If those weren't broken, I probably could have unbolted the lower side of that bracket and just slid the whole dash up without having to tear so much apart. This is what I've learned in the process. So I actually have ordered new rubber grommets for there. And my plan is to actually reassemble the hand throttle, assemble those to the brackets and have that all ready to go so that this will just drop down onto the new steering column and bolt into place. Now, as we look up top, all of the instruments have been unwired. There's your fuse block. I've got some labels there. I took a bunch of pictures. This is the thing that took the most time was actually unwiring that. I say the most time. The most time was the steering wheel, but that's a different story. The dash also has this piece that goes across the back. It actually screws on here. So there's some wiring there. That I won't put back on right away. So, so that's the dash component. Here is the drag link, which runs down the side of the tractor, the pitman arm. We've got the steel hydraulic lines that came out that fed this. And there is that power assisted recirculating ball steering gearbox. And for completeness, here's the steering wheel. Tried to pull this, tried everything to pull this. Tried a puller, tried making a frame out of wood behind it and pulling on that. Tried using my knees and hitting the center with a hammer. Ultimately, I ended up having to cut the steering wheel apart because it was so rusted on there. So in terms of brackets, here is the other side of the rubber grommet. This bracket here supports the hand throttle and bolts onto the housing next to the steering column. And there's another one there on the other side. You can see the other side of that rubber grommet. So these two are going to come off the tractor. And what I'm going to do is actually assemble them into the dash so that when the new steering column goes in, I can slide the dash down on and we'll just have to put in those two bolts down there uh, below and out of the way. And everything else will be together. So hopefully that'll make reassembly go a bit faster. 17 millimeters here on the socket and so the other side's already loose because I had to loosen it for the hand throttle removal but this side is not loose yet here we go there's one and here's the other I'll just get those loose and now this should come right off Something I like to do is actually uh, put the bolt 
back in the holes so I don't lose them. And as you can see, this wiring harness is actually supported on this bolt right here. So I'm going to preserve that so that when I get things back together, I remember. All right, so now we got our two pieces to go put that dash together. So as we look at this new rubber mount, there's a shorter thread and a longer thread. So I had to pay careful attention to how this came apart here. Um, the longer thread was up at the dash. The shorter thread was down here on the bracket. So that's how we're gonna orient those. I saved all the nuts and washers, so we're ready to actually put these in. All of this is 17 millimeter. Snug that up. And here's that hand throttle mount. that one. Slip that up in there. Block washer and nut. So here is the base of the hand throttle. This actually pushes the throttle. That goes out through this slot here. There's two nuts here, those come off. This spring here applies tension. This bracket actually will move up out of the way because that ultimately just holds things to the steering column once that's in there. In fact, this tab right here is for the hand throttle. This one's for the dash right there. And the new column that comes is gonna have those tabs on it as well. So what's going to happen is I'm going to back this off. I'm going to slip this up and over so that goes out there and the spring and those nuts go on down here and this throttle kind of rests against that plate. Let's take off the locking nut and the regular tightening nut. Set those down. Here's the lock washer. This piece here serves as a spring. This drops down and through. All right. Okay, so that's through. Now, spring goes on there washer goes on there and then let's just do one nut first this is a real pain to do in the tractor I've done it twice in the tractor so I much prefer doing it this way where I can get my hands right to it How tight that needs to be. Let's see, how does this, is it gonna move? As long as we can move it. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty stiff. So I think I'm gonna go with that tension for now. It's not too difficult to back this off a small bit of a turn once it's assembled in the tractor. Let's put this in here. All right. 
There she is. Okay, so that hand throttle is now assembled. So that's nice, that's together. This should drop right onto the steering column once I have that new steering column in place. And then once I connect the wires, I will go ahead and install this piece back in there. I'm not gonna do that now because it will just be in my way in terms of getting my fingers in there to do the wiring over here at the fuse block and up here at the temperature gauge and at the ignition switch there. So we'll leave this like this for now. Regardless, it is a lot more assembled than it was and that'll just save me time when I go to put the tractor back together once the steering is all set. The other thing I addressed with apart from New Holland here is this battery hold down. On this side, it wasn't holding anything at all. In fact, I started twisting on it to get it out and that hook on the end just snapped off. So now I've got something that I can actually tension down. So this is actually tensioned on both sides to hold the battery. And you can see there's some corrosion on here. This battery is actually on the way out. So maybe before year's end, we've got a new battery in here too. The final small thing that I've addressed before this hydrostatic steering goes in is I actually looped the original steering circuit. This went to that power assisted recirculating ball gearbox. I looped it to itself so that basically send and return are now I'm completing their own separate circuit. So I had this line made up, believe it or not, this is a unconventional Thing. There were no st standard hydraulic fittings that would work for this. So the only way to actually do it was to have somebody put a copper line and use the old fittings and bend that into a nice loop up out of the way. The new unit's going to take um, hydraulics either off the loader or off the main line. So when the kit gets here, I'll have to figure that out. So that's as far as I can take reassembling the tractor now. At this point, it's just a waiting game till the kit components to put the hydrostatic steering in arrive. So all those have been ordered and hopefully those things come in soon.